welcome to my next video. Today we're going to be talking about how to make money with 3D printing and businesses. So let's get started. Now, one thing you can do to make money in the 3D printing world is to help other businesses. Now, <clears throat> I'm not talking about large businesses. I'm talking about businesses that are like mom and pops around <clears throat> around you. So for me, I did a, a search on Google for local mom and pop near me. So this is what came up. And <clears throat> here's what I would do. And in fact, I've done this. Let me show you. I've already gone through some of these. And what you're looking for is for a local, you know, restaurant or store and <clears throat> go to their website. And I want you to see their logo. You see this right here? This is their logo right here. Now, can you imagine this being printed in two colors? You know, the red and the white and 3D printing anywhere from three inches to maybe like five or six inches big. <clears throat> and going to the restaurant owner and saying, hey, check this out. I made this for you. But the thing is, not every business will have this. So if this is Andy's Burger number four, let's look at number five. You go over here and there is nothing there. So you would have to, you know, look around for ones that you can actually do. So I've already gone through this list and I, I just want to point out some that I like. Now here's Ciro's Restaurant. I'm going to go to their website. Check it out. You could totally 3D print that. You'd probably need like five colors. So be ready for that one. However, there are, you do not want to do this for Starbucks. Even if you like them or don't like them, it's not the issue. If they're going to make any kind of business purchase, they're not going to deal with a single individual. They want another company that's professional, that has, you know, lawyers and stuff to deal with the transaction with the Starbucks. You can't really, I mean, you could try, but it's not very likely that you're going to get very far with them. So the last one I'm going to show you, and I just, I want to do it for this company just because their logo is amazing. Check this out. I've been here a couple of times, so not here, but their actual restaurant. Check out their logo. Look at that. I want to print that. Now, yes, I want a birthday treat, but I'll do this later. You want to right click save image as and then you want to save it wherever you can so that you can make this later now once you have this if you've never done it before you want to go from this is most likely a png or jpeg so just do a search for png to svg and you can just click on this go get the file that you just downloaded that you got from their website and it'll convert it to something you can use in another program so you've made you have their logo. You redesigned it in a software program. Great. Now, what do you do? Well, you check out what else you can make for them. Perhaps you have their logos and you're like, maybe I can make them a coin with their logo on it. Uh, maybe make a spinning coin. By the way, I have a tutorial on how to make a spinning coin. So it's kind of like a toy, but at the same time, there you can there's space there. So you can put a logo or something on there. Maybe they're just the name of their company. I don't know. Or maybe you want to make them some keychains. Now, why are you doing this? See, here's the deal. Maybe Andy's Burger number five, if, which I forgot, I think it's this one that had the logo. Maybe they say, hey, you know what? Thank you. <clears throat> we really appreciate these things. Now, for you, when you design these things, you want to have your contact information maybe print it on the back or on the side, maybe have a sticker, some way for them to contact you because maybe they don't want to buy anything from you. But at some point, just I guarantee at some point, someone's going to say, wow, that is a really cool logo. How'd you get that made? Well, someone's going to say, well, let me see. And they're going to have your contact information there. And perhaps maybe Andy's Burger wants to have some sort of giveaway and they say, hey, why don't we give away these things? And they'll call you. But the beauty of this is that once you have their design, it's not that hard to just print a bunch of them at the price that you set. However, another great thing about this is that you do not have to be limited to just one business. This business can say yes, and maybe 
Francesco's Cafe would say, oh, yes, definitely give me some of those. But at the same time, you're also providing some for uh, well, Wilma and Frida's place. So you, they are not necessarily competition for your business because they, are comp- they may be in competition with each other, but not for you. So that's the beauty of this. And you could have 10, 15, 20 people or 20 businesses asking for you to make their designs. That is not a bad situation to be in because you can make that on the side while you, you know, make your other stuff. But in order for this to work, of course, you have to know software. You're going to have to know how to design. You're going to have to know how to use the basics for at least Tinkercad, which I've done a few times. In fact, I think I can show you one that I created. I go to this uh, gym and I, there's some imperfections here that just stand out to me. But I uh, asked the gym owner, I said, hey, can I get your logo? And I went on, I think it was this one, to convert that image into um, a SVG. But I also used, um, what's my other program I have over here? Oh, yeah, there it is. I used, a, um, there it is, Photoshop, to separate the different parts. And then I created this for them. Well, he also had a separate logo for this guy and the woman inside. And I created a larger, I created a larger version of that. And now he knows, hey, if he ever needs some, he can contact me and I will set a price and then we can work something out. But the thing is, he was amazed. He was impressed. He loved it and he knew exactly where to get more. So that's exactly, you want to be the person that they go to. And again, you got to know this software program. So please, it's not all of them, just one or two. Please consider that when you're creating a 3D printing business, you got to know some basic software and, of course, a printer. Now, if you only have a printer that does one color at a time, you're going to be at a slight disadvantage because logos tend to be more than one color. And to do that, you're probably going to need a printer that will allow you to do that, or you need to know how to set your your printer so that it'll pause at certain levels. That way you can change the filament and, you know, make your own colors stand out. But it's going to take you to know, you, you need to know how these things work. So that would be awesome if you can do that. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and stay tuned for more ideas on how to make money in the 3D printing business. Have a great day.